Hello, I'm Ethan Bryan. I'm delighted to be joined by two very talented uh, young people who are participating in the Higher Level Apprenticeship at Belfast Metropolitan College. Their parent company is Rapid7. More about their journey and the great successes they're having in just a moment. Welcome, Daniel McGreevy, and welcome, Julia Oyalik. Daniel, tell us a little bit about your journey so far. You were a marketeer, I'm told. Yeah, so um, I left GCSEs and went straight into college. I did uh, level three in business, and from that, I kind of learned that I enjoyed marketing. Um, and I decided, okay, I'll go into digital marketing. Um, so after that, I went into level three in digital marketing. Um, I did that for a few years. Uh, I did a lot of tasks in the company, kind of administration tasks, um, different new customer phone calls and whatnot. Um, and then after I finished that apprenticeship, I kind of went to something that was a bit more technical. Um, and I knew I didn't have a technical background, so I thought, okay, I'll go to different career fairs across Belfast, and one of them was the Belfast Met IT Apprenticeship Open Day, uh, and that's where I came across the level four in cybersecurity networking. Um, so Belfast Met gave us a list of different employers, um, one of them being Rapid7, and I did the interview and the application process of Rapid7, and then I got accepted into that role. Wonderful. Well, we're going to hear a bit more about Rapid7, a bit more of the support that you're receiving both from the company and college in just a moment. But Julia, tell us a little bit about your journey and how you ended up being with us today and on this course. I had a keen interest in IT during my GCSEs and A-levels. IT was one of the strongest subjects I had a passion for. It really encouraged me to apply for the Cybersecurity of Network Infrastructure degree here in Belfast Matt. However, during my GCSEs and A-levels, while working part-time in retail for four years, um, I did realise their opportunities of apprenticeship has a big massive value. So I applied for the Tactical Support Engineer Apprenticeship of Rapid 7 this time last year, went through the interview process, Belfast Matt, as the lecturer, especially Stephen, was very encouraging. He gave me lots of advice. Um, went through the interview process, everything went all goes. I'm definitely glad I made the career change from retail to IT. My goodness, what a, what a dramatic change that was indeed. We're going to talk a little bit about the support you received both in college, you mentioned Stephen there, but also within the company. And Daniel, if I could reflect, ask you to reflect on that in two parts. What's it like studying at Belfast Matt and tell us how your employer assists you? Yeah, um, Belfast Matt's very good. Uh, I quite like the fact that the classrooms are very small because it's, you know, groups of 20, 30 people. Uh, and it's a bit more of like a personal relationship with the lecturer. Um, so if you have any issues or questions or stuff you're struggling with, um, there's always someone there to help you. I think it's very different than the university where it's maybe a big lecture hall. Um, so the, the lecturers about Bath are very supportive. Uh, it's a very personal relationship, which I think is really good for, for learning uh, in general. Um, and then Rapid7 too. Um, they're also very supportive. I've been there you know, for three years now and there hasn't been a day where I haven't had someone I can go ask a question or you know, there hasn't been a day where I haven't learned something new. Um, yeah, so I couldn't be That's brilliant, around. isn't it? You know, because we spend so many years in our working life, it's very important to feel confident that yeah. you know where to ask for help. And I suppose, Julia, if I was to pick that point up and say to you, well, what, what kind of support have you received within Rapid7? And then tell us a little bit more about that. That you've received at Belfast Matt, please. So, the support with Belfast Matt and Rapid Seven have been amazing the whole way, especially during the interview process. As I mentioned, Stephen was more than happy to help me and guide me. He encouraged me, gave me advice during the interview process. I was kept up to date with Rapid Seven, um, which is quite reassuring. Um, considering the fact that I transitioned from the foundation degree to the apprenticeship, mm. Belfast Matt and Rapid Seven both collaborated making the transition as smooth as possible. The support I received from Rapid7 has been amazing, especially during the onboarding phase, where everyone in the team was more than happy to help. Everyone went the extra mile, providing excellent support. I have two questions for each of you. Daniel, I'm going to ask you first, what's next for you? And then also, what would you say to someone who's watching you on video today and thinking about applying for an apprenticeship? So what's next for me? Um, I'm kind of at that stage in my, my last year. Uh, I'm kind of what I want to do. Um, Belfast Met offer level 6 top up, uh, so you can go and do your full degree. Um, I could also finish my education with Belfast Met and stay full time at Rapid7 and do maybe some more specific qualifications such as Network Plus, Security Plus. So I had a bit of a crossroads, but I'm kind of torn between those two decisions. So well, there's different options there. It's a nice to have options and, and uh, you know, those are very, very exciting and yeah. rewarding. Someone watching you thinking about going down the road, what would you say to them? Yeah, definitely go for it. Don't feel like your previous experience or previous jobs or anything like that should hold you back. Um, 
it's all about who you are as a person. And if you're really willing to learn, really willing to you know push yourself in your career, um, definitely go for it. And uh, don't don't feel like you won't do well because you definitely will get a lot further than you expected. And I know that from experience. I don't think I'd go as far as I would um, with the level four in cybersecurity networking. And I think I've done really well for myself. So. Well, that is brilliant, Daniel. Thank you for being such an inspiration to those who will follow you both professionally in a company, a really innovative company like Rapid7, but also at Belfast Matt. And Julia, turning to you, I suppose, what's next for you? So my next step is to finish my foundation degree while progressing in my role as a technical support engineer apprentice. Especially at Rapid7, one of our core values is continuous learning. So everyone gets um, a set learning track with different learning aid tools. So I'm really excited to see how much I can develop compared to how I've progressed in my four years how much I can progress from now to the end of the year. So that's something to look forward to. And um, a young lady looking at the video today thinking, oh, that's very interesting. Julia's story is very interesting. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about that. What would you say to her? I would definitely recommend a plan for apprenticeship, especially at Rapid Seven. There's so much core values, especially challenge convention. You get challenged every single day to improve on your skills, especially with the technical side. So we specifically do vulnerability management tool, which gives us real world experience in the cyber security industry. So that is something to look forward to. Real world experience, real world success yeah. for Julia <laughs> and Daniel. We wish you ongoing success. We thank you for joining us today. I'm Eden Brown and this is Belfast Man.